Welcome to Poetry in the Evening. I am your host, Rebecca Budd, and I am looking forward to sharing this moment with you. Tonight, I want to introduce the poet John Gould Fletcher, who was born on January 3, 1886, in Little Rock, Arkansas. The son of a cotton broker, he enrolled in Harvard University, but he left before receiving a degree. Instead, he began writing poetry, and this happened during his trip to the West Coast in 1905. In 1906, with the passing of his father, he was left with an independent income, and with that, he moved to Italy and later he settled in London. There he met Ezra Pound, Amy Lowell, and other Imagist poets. Imagism was a movement in the early 20th century Anglo-American poetry that favored precision of imagery and clear, sharp language. A distant song by John Gould Fletcher brings that out. I invite you to join me in reading a distant song by John Gould Fletcher. Whether awake or sleeping, I cannot rest for long. By my casement comes creeping a distant song. A song like the chiming of silver bells which the breezes play seeming to float forever towards an unseen day. A song that is weary with sorrow, yet knows not any defeat. Through the past, through today, through tomorrow, it echoes on life's long street. Could I but make words of its power Bring it from the future here. Men's souls would be waking that hour to the victory against fear. But the vague, sweet stanza befools me with its calm joy time after time. And no failure here ever schools me to cease from an idle rhyme. That music afar, unspoken, tis I have done it wrong. I caught, and I have broken, a distant song. Thank you for joining me, Poetry in the Evening, with John Gould Fletcher. I think of the future and the distance. We try to imagine what it will be like. We try to see the certainty, and it is only when we live life that the future comes. It is a distant song. Until next time we meet, dear friends, keep reading and reciting poetry, and be well.